What's up? It's Chris from Stone Fox Media, and I hope everyone's having a blessed day. Now, I know what you're thinking. Stone Fox, is you dead? No, I'm not dead. I'm not an Osferatu. I'm still alive. Very much still here. But there's been a lot of things that have happened over the last 30 days. So, yeah, let me give you guys a little bit of an update. Uh, basically, there was a whole lot of hurricane drama. Uh, if you guys have heard about it, uh, uh, this is about, about a week of, of uh, festivities. So it made it hard to do videos without having electricity and glory to God, nothing got wiped out and, you know, we didn't really get hit that hard, but there's a lot of people that did. So, uh, keep them in your prayers, everybody. Uh, other than that, um, we also decided that we were going to move. Yes. So we moved back to Colorado, the land of milk and honey, and we're very much happy here. Uh, no more hurricanes for us. Yeah. We're just not doing it. Uh, so yeah, we had, uh, originally put our house on the market a while ago, uh, and then it finally came under contract. And that's why I wasn't showing up visually in my videos, uh, because of that reason. That and, you know, sometimes you just want to record it the cool way and have video games playing because a lot of people have requested that from me. Um, another thing, uh, that's been going on, uh, after we decided that we were going to move, we sold our house and then we had to drive back to Colorado. And in case you had not noticed, it is 1,700 miles to Colorado. 1,700. It is painful. It is brutal. And when you're carrying a newborn, it is even more brutal. So we spent about a week on the road. Uh, people were like, why would it take so long? It's only a 24-hour drive. But it's a week when you have a baby that hates being in a car. They just hate it. They hate driving long distance. They just do. So it was a long, drawn-out journey. It was, oh, man, I would never want to do that again. And everyone who ever knows how long 1,700 miles is, just GPS how long it takes you to get to work. How long it takes you to get to school. What is it, like 5, 10 miles? Imagine 1,700. It just feels like it's forever. It just never ends. And some states have nothing in them. Just, just nothing but grass and dirt, and that's it. And you're like, man, I want to fall asleep just driving. It just drives you nuts. Uh, but anyway, glory to God, we did make it up here uh, safely. And every, as anyone knows, moving is a pain in the butt from the packing portion to the unpacking portion. It is a long, drawn-out process, and it takes all of your energy and all of your time. So that's what we've been uh, primarily doing this whole entire time. And I was like, okay, uh, it's time to get back to gaming. Was I haven't much time, much time to play games because I've been literally either dealing with hurricane drama or driving or packing or moving or closing and it's just it's, it's been a never-ending process so far so yeah i want to give you guys an update that yes i am still alive and yes i am going to be doing videos all over again but it makes it a whole lot easier when you don't have home showings people showing up to come look at the house and you can't record a video because people are walking through it going oh what lovely walls yeah so it makes it a little bit difficult to do videos when you're dealing with all that stuff so uh, just want to give you guys an update of everything that's going on. I do want to give you guys a little bit of tidbit of uh, gaming news that has caught my attention. Now, I do I, I have pre-ordered the PlayStation uh, One Classic Edition. You know, their counter action to the you know Nintendo Classic Editions, and they did give out their whole entire games list. And when I saw the games list, I was like, Oh, okay. Why is it so bad? See, I have to talk about this because. I was looking forward to this and I pre-ordered it before, you know, I even got any of the details. All we knew was that Final Fantasy VII was coming on it, which they have been peddling Final Fantasy VII for like ever. But I was like, okay, cool. Let me check it out anyway. Well, the games you're going to get is Banner Arena uh, Tashinen, uh, Cool Borders 2, Destruction Derby, Final Fantasy VII, Grand Theft Auto, Intelligent Cube, Jumping Flash, Metal Gear Solid, Dr. Driller, Oddward, Abe's Odyssey, Rayman, Resident Evil Director's Cut, uh, Revelations, uh, Persona, uh, R4, Ridge Razor, R-Type 4, uh, Super Puzzle Fighter 2, Turbo, Siphon Filter, Tekken 3, Tom Clancy's Rainbow Six, Twisted Metal, and Wild Arms. Now, while this is a good list, I think they probably wanted to do a something for everybody thing. One, I don't know why they went with 20 games. Nintendo does 20. That doesn't mean you have to do 20. You could have did 40, and that would have been like, ooh, but you didn't do that. Some of these games, they're a little lackluster. I don't have a problem with, you know, having like Final Fantasy 7 on there. It was a huge game. It started, it made Final Fantasy hot again. Okay, it hadn't been hot since Final Fantasy 2 as far as I'm concerned. But, uh, you know, when you throw in games like Siphon Filter, that was good, Rainbow Six, you know, Twisted Metal, probably two over one. 
I would have went two over one. But, I mean, Twisted Metal was a big deal because it was cars driving and blowing stuff up. Everyone loved that. Wild Arms is good. Rayman, I would have preferred to see maybe a Crash Bandicoot. I mean, he was your like your mascot. Did you just forget that he was your mascot, that you should at least have him in one of them? Just one. No. But you want to have Jumping Flash. I don't understand that. I really don't get it. So, so some of these games like Grand Theft Auto, you know, Resident Evil, they've just been re-releasing Resident Evil so many times. I just feel like it's, it's almost unnecessary, especially with a new remaster one coming out, for you to even try and go through the time of, of busting out another one of these. I, I just, I don't feel like you needed it when, when they've just been throwing it out there. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Metal Gear Solid, don't have a problem with that one. Uh, Rayman, cool. Cool Borders? Eh, I mean, I would rather have seen like Legend of Dragoon on there, or, uh, you know, Crash Bandicoot, or you know, one of the other good games that they actually had. I think it's like some kind of bloody roar thing on there. Like, wh wh where are the other games that were, you know, PlayStation classics that people were really like hype about? Like, wh what happened to them? I know they don't have the rights to Spyro, so a lot of people were like, "We're well, gonna get like Spyro or something like that." I don't think they have the exclusive rights to Spyro. I know it was part of Naughty Dog, but Naughty Dog was part of someone else at that time, so that's probably why they didn't actually have access to the whole entire Spyro game. I know a lot of people would have probably liked that, but the the list is okay. I just really wish they had thrown in some of the big heavy hitters that people had like missed, you know, like uh, Castlevania Symphony of the Night, you know, even just regular Street Fighter. Uh, they could have thrown in some Mega Man games in there, you know, Ogre Tactics, Final Fantasy Tactics, you know, uh, Final Fantasy Nine. Like, uh, there were games that were worthy of being on this system that were bigger than some of the games that they have on here. You know, I don't know, uh, Tomb Raider, Driver. Uh, Wipeout XL, Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 4. I was, I mean, Pro Skater, sorry, just Pro Skater. Uh, a lot of these games were really good games, but they just, I don't know. It's, it's kind of there. So, uh, I guess that they did kind of copy Nintendo, because Nintendo Classic Editions and stuff like that, they had a lot of good ones, and then they had ones that are just below average. So, right now, the list is kind of Superman, little Superman, but it's GED. It's good enough to get by. Well, that's all the news I got for you guys right now. Like, subscribe, follow me on Twitch, Twitter, and Facebook, you know, as soon as my news becomes available. Thank you guys for watching. God bless, and I'll holler at y'all later.